They could go down in the Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest set of tiny twin kittens. The first, they're right here on Ailish Eye. And look at where Tiffany is here to tell us more about it. Tiffany, good morning, good morning. Look at how tiny these little guys are. Now, let me show you. Twin kittens, right? This is a six week old average size cat. Now, okay. set him down and let everybody see the size of the legs of the six week old siblings. Okay. And you can see how much shorter these little guys are than this one. Than that one. And that's the achondroplasia gene. And if you look closely at the legs, you can see that there's a very short leg off these guys and a very long leg. Oh yeah, this, one, this one's legs are definitely longer than this little one's legs. These guys are three months old. And this six week old kitten is almost the same size. Oh my god. So you can see by the hair coat and the look on their face and their ability to move and walk that they're a little bit older. We keep everybody in here. I'll be responsible for this. <laughs> okay, so tell me how this works. How did you get this gene? How did you this get is the achondroplasia gene. Like the little people, some right. people have achondroplasia. Okay. And it causes the limbs to be a little bit shorter and bows a little bit on the limbs. Uh -huh. And you'll notice this is a six month old cat. Okay. So they're getting not quite even taller, but they're getting a little bit longer and a little bit heavier. So is he going to get any bigger than this? Maybe in weight and maybe in length, but not, not in height. Legs. No, not the legs. No. The vets said they're done growing. Okay. No, are you just, are you selling these things? Um, no, they don't have them, or is it just you know, this for? We don't have them for sale to the public on the average. Only if there's a non-quality baby that's not going to be a good producer or a good show baby, we'll sell those. Okay. But since we've discovered this new achondroplasia becoming smaller and smaller, right. we're trying to ideally get the healthiest and happiest cats out of those breedings. Right. So we're not selling anybody to anyone. Right. Okay, so then um, so you're not doing this for, for money, you just... You Only just some of the other babies that are byproducts that aren't as, you know, quality are the ones that will sell to pet homes. Now, which one of the kids is going in the Guinness Book, and how does that work? This one here is going to go in Guinness Book. Her brother is he, and he has actually gotten a little bit longer, mm -hmm. so we're going to use her in the Guinness Book. We've submitted it, and they're also going to help you there. We're also going to do a little um, category called Smallest Cat Twins, and that's where these two guys... The fizzes are fitting into that category. So, oh yeah, you can tell these ones are just little legs. You can see they're very and small, and you can see they're older too. Because see how the hair and they look very different. They're smooth coated, but they'll be okay. I mean, they're going to age okay, and they'll be healthy. Um, um, in 15 years, much can only they've been doing wonderfully. Wow. Um, some people have been concerned that there's inbreeding and things like that. You don't need to inbreed with an achondroplasia gene. Only one parent has the gene and okay. passes it on. 